Hi friends, I am Madhu. This is part 3 of the video Mathematic Formulas. In this video, I will discuss rest of the topics left for the formula. So before we get started, we will start with an inspiring thought. So the thought for this video is Mistakes are the proof that you are trying. Mistakes are made by those who is making effort to do something. If we are trying to progress in our life, we must make mistakes. In the way of success, we must learn from our own mistakes. Even successful people have made countless mistakes. So when you make a mistake, just remember that it's all part of your experience and it is a requirement for success. So now let's quickly get started with our topic that is Mathematic Formulas. So now the topic on which we will discuss the formulas is Mensuration. Mensuration is basically consisted of finding the perimeter, area and measurements of different figures like rectangle, square, triangle etc. So in this chapter firstly we will talk about rectangle and square the most basic figures of this chapter. So how to find the perimeter of a rectangle? For finding the perimeter of rectangle, we have the formula 2 into L plus B. These are very common formulas of perimeter and area of both rectangle and square. This you may have studied in your previous classes as well. So the perimeter of rectangle, the formula is 2 into L plus B. L is the length, B is the breadth. We will add the length and the breadth and we will multiply it by 2. Now area of rectangle. Always we have a length and a breadth in a rectangle. So if we will multiply the length and the breadth, we will get the area of the rectangle. Now for finding the diagonal of the rectangle, it is additional. So for finding the diagonal of rectangle, we have the formula L under, under root L square plus B square means the square of the length and the square of the breadth will be added and it, we will calculate its under root. So then we will get the diagonal of the rectangle. Now square for finding the perimeter of square. Very simple formula 4 multiplied by the side. We, uh, the, the sides are equal in the square, all four sides are equal. That's why we will multiply 4 by the side and we will get the perimeter. Now area. The formula for area is side into side means we will multiply that side which we are having of the square two times, side into side. And the diagonal of the square is A under root 2. A is the side. A here is it is the variable given for the side which we are having and that side which will be given us of the square we will multiply it by under root 2 and then we will get the diagonal. So basically what is perimeter? Perimeter is sum of all the lengths and sides of the figure and area is the total inside area of the figure. And diagonal is the line which crosses from the between. This one. Sorry. This center line that passes from the figure, it is known as diagonal. So now let's move forward. So friends, now is the area of parallelogram, rhombus and trapezium. These are also geometrical figures. So for the area of parallelogram, we have the formula base into height. The base which we are having and the height given of the parallelogram. We will multiply both of them and we will get the area of the parallelogram. Now for rhombus. For rhombus, the formula is 1 by 2 into product of diagonals. Means firstly, we will multiply the diagonals of the rhombus and then that, so that product we will multiply it by 1 by 2 and we will get the area of rhombus. For area of trapezium, we have the formula 1 by 2 multiplied by sum of parallel sides into distance between them. 
in the trapezium we have two parallel sides in an isosceles trapezium so firstly we will uh, find their sum of the parallel sides and we will multiply it by distance how much distance is present between them and that and that we will multiply by uh, the, these both distance and the sum and then we will multiply it by 1 by 2 and th like this we will get the area of trapezium and for rhombus it is half into product of diagonals for parallelogram base into height so friends now we will talk about circle and semicircle so before we uh, talk about the circumference and area of the circle and semicircle we should be aware what is pi this pi this symbol represent the fraction 22 by 7 and this is used very widely in the concepts of circle and semicircle so now we will firstly talk about circle so circumference of the circle Circ circumference is the perimeter as circle is round in shape so we don't have the perimeter that is known as circumference so the circumference of circle is formula is 2 pi r 2 into pi is 22 by 7 2 into 22 by 7 into r r is the radius so this is the formula for the circumference of the circle now area for the area of circle we have the formula pi into r square pi is 22 by 7 it will be multiplied by r square means radius will be squared and it will be multiplied by 22 by 7 now semicircle as the name represent semicircle means semi means half and circle means half of the circle so semicircle is of this shape semicircle has this shape now perimeter of semicircle the formula is r into pi plus 2 means radius will be multiplied by 22 uh, 22 by 7 plus 2 so this is the formula for perimeter of semicircle now area of semicircle formula is 1 by 2 multiplied by pi that is 22 by 7 into r square means 1 by 2 multiplied by 22 by 7 multiplied by radius square the uh, radius will be squared and this will be the area of semi circle so friends there are more formulas in this chapter on cuboid and cube so volume for finding the volume of cuboid the formula we have is length into breadth into height l into b into h so cuboid is a 3d uh, figure so that's why we are having height also so these three units th these three dimensions will be multiplied length into breadth into height and we will get the volume of cuboid now volume of cube we have a very small and simple formula that is a cube a is the variable for the side means which we are having the side of the cube we will uh, uh, we will uh, cube it means we will multiply it three times this power three means we will multiply it by three times means side into side into side three times we will multiply we will get the volume so uh, uh, instead of we write side into side into side three times we can write a power three it means that a is the side and we will multiply it three times and we will get the volume so now diagonal diagonal of cuboid we have the formula under root l square plus b square plus h square means under the root length will be squared plus breadth will be squared plus height will be squared if we will add these all squares and we will under root them we will get the diagonal length of the diagonal of our cuboid now diagonal for the cube so for the diagonal of cube also there is a very small formula that is a into under root 3 means a is the side here the side of the cube which is given to us in the question that will be multiplied by under root 3 the under root 3 which the value will be obtained it will be multiplied by a that is the side of the cube and like this we will get the diagonal of the cube now total surface area for the total surface area 
for cuboid we have the formula 2 into L into V. Firstly, we will multiply length and breadth. We will add by breadth into height. See, we have three things in a cuboid, length, breadth and height. Firstly, we will multiply length and breadth. That we will add to, uh, we will multiply it by breadth and height. Then we will multiply length and height and all these three we will add. And that after adding what we will get, uh, we will multiply it by 2. And like this we will get the total surface area of cuboid. Uh, let's revise it again. We have three things, length, breadth and height. So we will multiply length into breadth, breadth into height length into height and add these three and then the whole sum will be multiplied by 2. So the for total surface area of the cube we have of the formula 6a square 6 into a square mean a is the side side of the cube so side of the cube will be squared S uh, square means side into side 2 times we will multiply it same and then that square side will be multiplied by 6 means 6 into a square means the square of the r side which is given in the cube. So this is the formula for the total surface area of cube. Now for the lateral surface area for cuboid we have the formula 2 into l plus b into h. So firstly it is a rule that firstly we need to solve the round bracket. So firstly we will add length and breadth then we will multiply it by height. And whatsoever the answer will come, we will multiply by 2. Again, firstly we will add length and breadth. Then we will multiply it by height. And then the whole sum we will, a whole product we will multiply it by 2. Now for the lateral surface area of cube. For cube, it's very simple. 4a square, 4 into side square. Means which side we are having of the cube. We will square it and we will multiply it by Four. So this is the formula for lateral surface area of the cube. So friends we have one more figure here on which the formulas are there that is cylinder. Cylinder of is of this shape nearly this shape it is having. So now for volume of the cylinder we have the formula pi r square h. Pi as I have told you earlier is having the value of 22 by 7. R is the radius. R square means the uh, square of the radius and multiplied by H. Means the formula for the volume of cylinder is Pi into R square into H. 22 by 7 multiplied by radius square into height. Now next is curved surface area. As the cylinder is having a curved shape, that's why we are also having curved surface area of cylinder. So the formula is 2 pi rh. 2 into pi 22 by 7 into radius into height. Now for total surface area for the cylinder, the formula is 2 pi r that is 2 into 22 by 7 into radius multiplied by h plus r height plus radius. Firstly, we will add height and radius and then we will multiply it by 2 pi r that is 2 into 22 by 7 into the radius which we will be having of the cylinder. So friends, we have finished our topic of mathematic formulas. This was a very wide topic. That's why I have made three parts of this topic. And I will keep on making videos on other topics as well. So stay connected with me. That's all for this video. Thank you.